I guess we might as well go with it. Yeah, let's go with it. Let's do it up. The uh, the this app I'm reviewing is called Start Talking. Uh, in that Start Talking adds in one word. Not not like the movie Look Who's Talking. No, no. It was a good movie. Oh dear God, no. (laughs) How many sperm jokes can you fit into one movie? Uh, You know. I don't know. They certainly tried to push the envelope. In a bad way, maybe. Yes. Uh, so this uh this app, it it basically lets you control uh your Android phone using only your voice, uh which might not sound like a novel thing uh because there's a bunch of other uh voice control apps out or voice texting apps, um but this is different and that it actually will listen in the background for a key activator word like uh the operator word that we. Are kicking mm-hmm. around too. Operator. Yeah, don't do. Why no, you keep doing that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know but, everybody's gonna do that. When yeah. You have your app. <laughs> Especially my nine-year-old. He's gonna think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this it's different from these other apps like Google's uh, voice app because it uh, it just completely responds uh, to your voice to activate. You don't even have to look at it to press a button uh, to start the voice command. Uh, so the app is is cool in that it lets you say the name of the phone, the you know the to start the command, uh, then speak what you want it to do, uh, like write a text message, find out what time it is, or call somebody, uh, and then it will then read it back to you to make sure this is what you want to do. You hit send, and it goes out. You never even had to look at your phone. Um, and then when you get text messages in, it will actually read you the text message. Mm. Uh, and it shows like a little, uh, what the, what would you call it? It's like chat bubbles or something. It's a log is what it a is along, al- along the right side of what's been happening. Uh, so and you can clear that out too, right? Operator, yes. clear log. I did not understand that. Of course you didn't. <laughs> Never mind. I think you have to go to, maybe that is. Operator, clear log. The conversation log has been there you go. Maybe it's getting used to my voice. That's what we'll call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you set up your when you when you first start this app, you tell it what contacts you want uh, to be able to send text messages to, uh, and it, that's kind of it's less impressive than if it would just do it on its own. Um, but I don't know. It still is pretty cool. Um, because basically then it has just a short list of people to work from, uh, instead of actually trying to do real, uh, voice recognition. So once you select people or whatever, they show right up on, uh, this enabled list of people. And supposedly you can send them text messages and everything. Um, inside the app, right on the main window, there's two different options at the beginning. One's listen and the other one is announce, and the listen, of course, is to uh, listen in for commands, and announce is the option to read text messages, uh, et cetera, back to you. So it's it's pretty interesting, it's a simple interface. Uh, most of your interaction with the app is going to be using voice. Right. So, I mean, the uh, more Spartan the interface, the, the probably the better if you're driving, you know. Totally. So, again, you've seen some of the weird stuff. Uh, it does kind of mess up. It's not quite there. Um, but this is, honestly, they, they've come right out and said an open public beta. Uh, so it's not going to be perfect for what they want it to do yet. Um, but it is getting there, and it's, pretty, it's a, a pretty impressive start, I'd say. What do you think uh, one of the coolest things that it does? What's one of the coolest features that you can do? Uh, well, I like the idea that it, that it reads the tech, the text messages mm-hmm. back to you. Yeah. Uh, and you don't even have to be inside the app. You just have the app activated in the background running, yeah. uh, and it'll, it'll go ahead and do that. Um, uh, but then again, at the same time, it doesn't support Google voice. Uh, so it's just the built-in app or, uh, Chomp SMS it supports too, which is, okay. that's a, a more popular third-party SMS app. Mm-hmm. So it's, uh, I mean... I what I'm I guess most excited about is I can see where this is creating a great foundation for when they leave this beta stage yeah. that it's going to be an excellent app. So the but the foundation is there. Yeah. It's definitely solid and if you're interested in just trying it out uh, to see where uh, the future really of texting while driving is going. Oh boy. <laughs> Operator. This is good. <laughs> 
Cancel. <laughs> it's too bad that it can't like <laughs> derive like meaning from your tone. Like, yeah. Operator, shut up. Does it do anything that way? Well, the mic is pointing though, and I and I don't have the sen- You can turn the sensitivity yeah. up if you want. Yeah. Um, but I didn't. I was trying to get it to ignore you. <sighs> <laughs> I see. Uh, so but this is free. You free. can find it in the market right now. That's cool. So That's pretty pretty, pretty exciting app. It's well worth the free. The free price, price tag. Yeah. 